And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at a little game, well it's actually more of a logic puzzle for one person, called Pig Puzzle. This is from Blue Orange Games, and it's a little deduction style puzzle for kids about getting the three little pigs home. Well, I guess adults could play it too, but I think it's geared at kids. Let's take a look. You're going to pick one of the many puzzles that's in the game, sorted by difficulty, you know, easy, medium, hard, and hardest. And once you take it, you're going to build what it shows. It shows the board here. It shows the pig, um, the third pig. It shows some obstacles that you don't want to run into and the house you're trying to get to. Each pig needs to go to their own house. There's three pigs in three houses. It also then shows you what pieces you'll be using. This one you use for curves. And so I might say, well, this one seems pretty simple. I'm just going to curve, 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 and curve, and I will get home. Let's take a look on that one. What? I did it. Now, of course, they get more tricky. Here, for example, I get four curves, three straights, two T's. There's a T in the middle, and I need to get both of these people home, and you can see it's a little more complex. In fact, there's an extra piece here that is used to make the board bigger in these situations. But that's pretty much how you play. The best thing is how compact the whole game is. It's a little magnetic clasp box, works, all the pieces fit in, all the cards, everything. It's really simple. Not to mention the cards themselves are really well done. They show you exactly what you need. And then the three little pigs are really obvious as to which house they go to. I mean, it all fits in here barely, but it does fit in. Now, I've definitely seen this game as an app. I'm 100% I'm sure I have a game, I have an app, played an app with this before on my phone, uh, which involved water pipes and hooking them up, and then the water flowed through the pipes, or a marble running through ramps. I think they're almost the exact same game. But this is actually a physical, tangible thing that you can give your kids, and it is very compact. I really like this one. I tend to like these puzzles in general. This is one where you can manipulate it. I didn't think any of the puzzles in here are impossible to figure out. Even the hardest ones, because there's only so many different combinations that you can put these paths in. Which is why I think this is geared more towards kids than adults, because I think for adults, they'll find this to be too simple and easy. But I don't think too simple and easy is always a bad thing, and I like to build up kids. I gave these to my kids, and they went through them pretty easily, but they were challenged and stumped, and in fact, there was a couple in the second level tier, which I thought were harder than the third level. But, you know, sometimes it's just the way these things work out. Either way, it keeps them occupied. A lot of puzzles. You could even maybe play with this while traveling or take if you have your kids stuck in an area where there's not a lot of space. This is a good way to keep them occupied. Check out Pig Puzzle. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved.